everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Sterling Grant, a resident of San Leandro and a former city council person for this district. So Aisha uh, went on a trip with the Rotary International to Asia. She came back. She got sick on her trip and she returned very sick. So she's not able to attend this evening. She just got back this afternoon. Um, so what I'd like to do is read her statement about who she is and why she's running. Um, so in 2010, Aisha participated in the appointment process for the Alameda County School Board Education Area 4C. And she was one of two finalists. And it was a very long, convoluted process. A number of people from this community um, were part of the process. And at the, at the end of the process, they chose, she was one of the top two, they chose the third place candidate because evidently the board could not make a decision on the top two. Um, she's a strong supporter of public schools. She was born and raised in Alameda County and graduated as a scholar athlete from Mount Eaton High School in Hayward. She was a student trustee on the Hayward Unified School District Board and a member of the Hayward Youth Commission. She went to Cal. She served as an AmeriCorps member in East Palo Alto and was the community representative on the immediate intervention for the underperforming schools program grant committee at Mount Eaton High School. She is uh, the community educator for the Alameda County Fire Department and as such she's developed meaningful partnerships with organizations that serve the most vulnerable students families in District 4, including initiating a job training for, program for at-risk youth. I know she also initiated a, uh, and this may be the same program, but she initiated a program that, that trained people to be firefighters. At-risk used to be um, in the fire services. She's been active as a youth mentor, a softball coach, a literacy tutor, and served on the boards of Hope for Heart in Cherryland, and Building Futures for Women and Children in San Leandro. As the chair of the Ashland Citizens Advisory Committee, she helped spearhead the building of the new $24 million teen center opening this year. As your trustee, she will work to improve the communications between the Alameda County Board of Education and, her local, and our local community. She will be working to better prepare our schools for fire and life safety and emergency preparedness, which was one of the questions that was asked just a few minutes ago. She will assist schools with the challenge of state budget cuts and ensure that we are training, recruiting, and retaining quality teachers. She has the support of various parents, teachers, community members, and elected officials such as Senator State Senator Corbett and organizations such as the Alameda County Democratic Party, the Alameda Labor Council, Building Trades Council of Alameda County, Alameda County Teachers Association, California Employees Association, and the National Women's Political Caucus Alameda North Chapter, PACE, and the East Bay Stonewall Democratic Club, and the Latino Connection Political Action Committee. She is committed to making a difference in the lives of children and family, and would be honored to have your support as she makes this bid for the Alameda County Board of Education. I can see the paper. I have no idea what color it is. It's uh, two really minutes left. I have two minutes. Yeah. So, in the, thank you. So, in that, um, in that two minutes, I will just personally say that I have supported Aisha and her endeavor for this seat uh, because, as I said, in 2010 she went for the appointment. She has worked with the populations of students at this pro that the. Uh, County Board of Education is most responsible to. She's worked with the parents, and she's worked with program providers. She's smart, analytical, and has a woman of great integrity. And as I said, she's done mentoring programs, worked with Doral Zinc and other programs, all I think that would be a great um, asset to her as she helps program, program, as she helps develop programs for our young people. So thank you on her behalf, and you all know she's local. You know how to reach her. You can ask her questions yourself. I will. Well, we'll have her email address available. I'll make sure Charlie has it. All right. Thank you very much.